my darlings, welcome to a new vlog and welcome to my car wardrobe. Um, so today I'm doing a street style shoot with my lovely cat, my lovely photographer. And seeing as I get quite a lot of questions on how to be a blogger, how to start your Instagram, how to do street style photography, I thought I would vlog today and give you a little sneak peek into what a day of street style photography really looks like. So first of all, I am I'm heading to Holland Park. I usually research my locations on Instagram, depending on where is looking very floral at this time of year. There are loads of different accounts that I like to look at, um, like Pretty City London, generally just my favorite bloggers, my favorite Instagrammers. So today I'm meeting Kat at Holland Park, making my way there now. Satnav is telling me it's gonna be about 40 minutes. I am on the lookout for a car wash first though because it's just embarrassing how dirty my car has got on the outside. I have all of my clothes in suitcases, neatly organized in the back of this car. I'm in my fabulous Mazda CX-5 and let me tell you, this car is a game changer when it comes to doing street style photo shoots. I used to trundle at least one giant suitcase, maybe two giant suitcases all around town with me, looking for cafes to get changed, um, and it was just a logistical nightmare but now my routine is I just fill the fabulously spacious boot with suitcases I have a little open bag filled with shoes and accessories I have clothes you can see behind me hanging up um, I'll give you a little boot tour later and you can see how I organize all my stuff but basically this car is my moving fitting room slash wardrobe so it's absolutely fabulous I will be picking up Kat at Holland Park now yeah I basically just get changed in the back of the car in between shoots which makes it a lot more um, easy to do as opposed to trying to find a new cafe every outfit. So as I said, making my way to Holland Park, I've got my My Favourite Murder podcast plugged in to the car's audio system so I'll catch up with you when I get there. just arrived at Holland Park. I've parked up very close to Holland Park Muse, which I think could potentially be the first shoot location of the day. I'm just waiting for Kat in the car, and then we're gonna go and do the first outfit, which is this lovely Topshop dress. I have parked on, I think it's Holland Park Crescent. I have this very handy app on my phone. It's called Pay By Phone. Um, and basically you just type in the location that you are and you can pay on your phone. So it's really easy, you don't need to carry coins around and it even gives you a timer. I don't know if you can see on the screen there. So it's very easy for me to park and have my little pop-up wardrobe. That was actually one of the things when we first got this car. I was a little bit scared to drive it because it is a very big car. It is an all-wheel drive, which is basically better than a 4x4. And I was a little bit scared of parking it. Notoriously, I'm not a very good parker. But actually, this car is so easy to drive. It's got sensors all the way around it um, and it also has a reverse camera so obviously you don't want to rely on it but you can see exactly what's going on behind you so you know that you're not gonna bump into anyone behind so I no longer am afraid of parking which is great because I am in a fairly small space that even in my old car I probably would have struggled to get into but yeah we made it so I'm gonna show you I've got my essentials here my handbag my um, cold drink and my hot drink let me show you now my boot setup Okay, so this is my wardrobe for the day. I've also got a couple of pieces that crease quite badly hung up on the side there, but this is the one that's gonna be the most useful. So inside here, I've got my next outfit ready to go. Got the shoes, got the handbag. Um, and then I've got the next outfit nicely folded. So I will be getting changed in here when this outfit has been photographed. 
I also put all of my accessories in this bag here so they're easy to get to. I've got a couple of pairs of Kate Spade sunglasses and all my jewellery. I've got my Pandora jewellery boxes. So it's really easy for me to see everything when it comes to getting changed. two outfits this one here was my second outfit of the day I have another tip for street style shooting on the go and that would be to wear your most complicated outfit first and if you have anything like this which is a button-down thing and that is a really easy one to get changed in if you are stuck for places to get changed obviously as you just saw I'm able to get changed in the car but if you didn't have something like that then you can just put something like this on over your shoulders and then button it up and you're done that A, I can park in and B, I'm nice and photogenic to shoot outfit number three. This is a cute little LK Bennett dress um, and I've put on my Gucci mules which are also very good driving shoes. We're in a very photogenic area so hopefully we'll find somewhere soon. and lookbooks and um, we have found a peril to tell you about of street style photography behind me you can see a huge group of builders who have a lot of commentary to talk have a about, lot of opinions a lot of opinions and that is the one downside of street style photography you'll always have an audience but you just gotta suck it up take it in your stride
we've just finished the final outfit of the day, which was this cute little Topshop number. It is now half past five. The great thing about summer is that we have all the hours to shoot in. So it's been a very productive day. You will possibly not have seen the video that we filmed today because basically we were shooting what I like to call Snappuccino which is lots of different outfit snaps for Instagram and also some clips for my I think I'm going to be calling it five summer fashion essentials or something along those lines as you can see towards the end of the day clothes just end up in a pile on the back seat after I've got changed out of them as opposed to the beautiful neat neatly hung items from the beginning of the day so now it's time to whack that aircon on full blast and get home before the mad rush hour so let's get going <laughs>